28 2021 civil engineering set 2 question 51 an activated sludge process is designed for secondary treatment of 7500 meter cube per day of municipal wastewater after primary clarifier the ultimate bod of the influent which enters into asp reactor is 200 mg per liter treated effluent after secondary clarifier is required to have an ultimate bod of 20 mg per liter mixed liquor volatile suspended solids that is also known as mlvss concentration in the reactor and the underflow is maintained as 3000 mg per liter and 12000 mg per liter the hydraulic retention time and mean cell residence time are given as 0.2 day and 10 days respectively a representative flow diagram has been shown as below the underflow volume needs to be found rounded off to one decimal place for the sludge wastage the relevant NPTEL reference has been cited coming to the useful data for this problem for municipal wastewater treatment we use activated sludge process we send a certain amount of influent into the system which has a certain amount of BOD and our target is to reduce the BOD levels so that the water becomes less polluted for this first we send it to a aeration basin where the microorganisms metabolize suspended and soluble organic matter within this aeration basin next solid liquid separation is done within the sedimentation basin also called as the secondary clarifier excess biomass is sent to wastage and the remaining biomass is returned to the aeration basin so once the returned biomass is added into the aeration basin the net flow out of the aeration basin becomes q0 plus qr given the diagram in the question we are given the values of q0 and l0 q0 is given as 7500 meter cube per day and l0 is given as 200 mg per liter we need to reduce this to a well level of le that is given as 20 mg per liter the wastage flow needs to be found the return flow can be assumed as qr this would get added to the incoming flow that is q0 let us say the concentration in this aeration basin is x and the underflow concentration is given as xu which will be maintained both in the wastage flow and the return flow x is given as 3000 mg per liter and xu is given as 12000 mg per liter the hydraulic retention time is given as 0.2 days in the question and mean cell residence time is given as 10 days so for finding the qw we need to use the equation for theta c that is mean cell residence time theta c is given as vx over q0 minus q wastage into xc that is the mlv ss concentration in the treated effluent plus q wastage into xu in this case the xc value for the treated effluent is not given so we can assume it to be zero such that the water has been fully treated and there is no mlvss left in the system in other terms all the mlvss that is used here is returned back into the system and none of it goes along with the treated effluent so theta c becomes vx over qw into xu in this case v is not given for that we can use the hydraulic retention time that is v over q0 this would give v as q0 into theta q0 is given as 
सेवेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब पर डे इन टू थीटा इज पॉइंट टू डेज दिस वुड गिव वी एस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वी हीयर एज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब इन टू एक्स दैट इज गिवेन हीयर एज थ्री थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू डब्ल्यू इज द अंडर फ्लो दैट नीड्स टू बी फाउंड times x u that is 12000 this will be q w equals 1500 divided by 4 into theta c is nothing but 10 days times 10 this would give theta c as 10 days here and substituting this would give q w as 37.5 meter cube per day qw is our underflow for the activated sludge process so activated sludge process system was given all the parameters such as inflow inflow bod outflow bod the mlvss in the system and the underflow the hydraulic retention time and mean cell residence time were given the underflow volume was found out to be 37.5 meter cube per day and this was found using the equation of mean cell residence time theta c the relevant np tel reference has been listed